In this video, we will go over the general GUI or the general drawing screen and workflow of MeasureSquare. After you have clicked on a project or created a new one, you will be on the drawing screen. Let's go through some of these icons. The home screen icon will take you back to your home screen where all your projects were listed. The tools icon contains all of your essential drawing tools. It is where you connect your disto and also where you add floors to your project. The product icon is how you reach the product catalog and it also contains the product lists, such as the add-on list. The estimate icon is where you change the layout, manipulate seams, and punch in any of the relevant numbers related to estimating, such as the cut margins or the roll cut roundups. The report section will contain all your worksheets and forms. And the share icon is where you would email or store the project and where you'd continue the floor link. The undo slash redo buttons are in the center. To the right, we have the views icon used to decide what shows up on your diagram. The settings icon, which will lead into the project and system settings. The project settings are related to locking certain parts of the diagram to keep them from moving and also deciding whether to estimate by layer. The system settings delve into more detail about how you want your objects to behave by default, like font sizing, creating and syncing product catalogs, and syncing project settings. The help icon will lead you to our YouTube tutorials page, the user guide, and the knowledge base. You can also email us your questions directly from here. The arrow on the left side opens and closes a menu that will contain your tabs named Widgets, Products, Assignment, and Pattern. The Widgets menu will contain your objects like doors and windows. The Products menu will contain your master database of products and add-ons and also the name of the product database you're using. So in this case, Example Products. The Assignment tab will contain all the products used in this project. And the Pattern menu will contain a list of patterns for tiles and carpet tiles. On the bottom here, we can roll the cut sheet up or down and choose to view either the roll cut list or the cut list version.